In this video, I'll be going over how you can create a book for Amazon KDP using Kittle and also other tools that Kittle has to offer. So first, let me just start with the homepage. So this is the homepage for Kittle. I'm not going to be doing over every single part because there is just so many different things that Kittle has to offer and it would take a very long time to go through every single part. So let's just go over the main part of the homepage. So at the top here, you have product, templates, resources, company my projects, new project, and then you have a search and then also notifications here and then your own profile. And then moving on over to down this area right here, we have the different categories you can select. So right now I have that on all. And then what do you want to create? We could do discover, which is what I'm currently on, merchandise, marketing, social stationery, branding, business, covers, and Kittle AI. So if you keep scrolling down, just a bunch of different templates and things that you can use. And then if I click on covers, you can click on book cover, album cover, podcast cover, wallpapers, children's books, and backgrounds. So you could use this for multiple different things. For example, I mainly post books right now currently in the scrapbook paper, craft paper pad niche. The backgrounds tab right here, the backgrounds option, I feel like could definitely be a possibility for that because you could make a background here and then put it all together within the book. Just another idea of what you could do, more of like an interior. Um, I haven't done that yet, made an interior using Kittle, but that definitely I think would be a possibility using the background here. And you might have to do like each page individually, but you could, I feel like there's definitely a way you could do that. So that's actually really cool. I just thought of that when I looked at the backgrounds. And then for book covers, you can definitely create like a nonfiction or fiction children's books because there's literally an option right here for children's books. You could do notebooks. You could do any type of cover with Kittle. And I know I've done some examples before, at least one example, and I think I have that same book up here right now. So I'll go over some other ways that you can edit it. And then scrolling down here, you can see all of the different templates that you can use there is honestly so much. Like it would take a very long time to go through every single possible template. But I love that there's so many different options. You can really personalize it and make it your own. And it's just so easy to use, um, like to, easy to use this homepage and easy to navigate through. So if I want to search a template, I could search, like if you're looking for a specific color, you could do like navy, something like that. Or if you're looking for a certain stylist, actually, over here where it says all colors, you can change the color there. All themes, all styles. Could just filter it down here as well. So if I go to all colors, give me one second for the page to load. You can change it right there. Let's change the theme. We got, wow, there's so many different themes here. It's amazing. Let's just change it to happy because why not? And see what will come up here. Here we go. This is awesome. I love the flowers here. That's so cool. There's even like birthday ones here. You can make some sort of cards. I know a lot of people do print on demand where they do like t-shirts and different um, designs like that, like on bags and things like that. So that's also another option that you could do. That would be under the merchandise tab. But anyways, let's get into the actual editor so you can see the different options. So you can edit this however you would like to. And then if you are doing a print on demand, you could do a mock-up. Um, but with Amazon KDP, it's, I guess it, it pretty much is like print on demand. Um, however, it's just a little bit different where we're not putting on a t-shirt, it's going to be a book. So it's just a little bit different. And let's go over here. So for templates, this is where you can select different templates. You can also generate with AI. And then here you can put um, like your different projects that we have here. And then text, you can add different words if you'd like. I'm just going to go through all the different ways you can edit this. Here you can add shapes, ornaments, illustrations, abstract. So let's add like some stars. Why not? Just to show you, you can change the size, you can change the color, the opacity, border, shadow. I mean, there are just so many so many different things that you can do with this tool. It's absolutely incredible. So I'm gonna make this smaller. I'm gonna put it 
I'm just going to put it right here, actually. There we go. And then I can keep going down. You have your brand kit that you can create, your upload. And then these are going to be um, trending images, Kittle AI images. You have the textures. And then down here, you have Kittle AI. So you could launch a co-pilot, design smart with AI, which is actually really cool. I click on that and show you. And there's image generator, search generator, and design generator. So first, I'm going to click on launch co-pilot. We're going to start there. Give it one minute to load. Okay. And then it says, what would you like to do? So, I mean, we can't really just do anything. Let's change color to, um, let's do pink. And I'm going to click next. Oh, that's actually a really, really pretty color. Yeah, let's do that color, more controls. And it just changed the color of the stars there, pink. That is so cool. Okay, so let's do, we click on something else. Wonder, yeah, let's click on all these flowers. Launch Copilot. What would you like to do? Oh, let's see here. Oh, this is really cool. So you can click on, let's do these purple ones. I want to change these. You can click it here. I know I'm not, I kind of changed paths here of what I'm doing, but I just think it's so cool how easily accessible it is. Let's change it to like a little bit of a brighter blue. Oh, that is awesome. There's so many different colors that you can choose from. Um, and you can even, you can generate text, generate image. Let's generate text. I wonder if you could do something like a headline and we do like inspiring. I don't know if that just, oh, that's cool. It does show you the different like sayings that you could do. I was wondering if it would just show the word inspiring or if it would actually show me different sayings. And it does. So that's amazing. There's just so many different tools. Every time I feel like I use Kittle, there's something new that I learn and something new that I discover. And I highly recommend checking out Kittle, especially if you're just looking for something new or you're looking for something unique. I feel like you could definitely create a lot of different unique books and products through Kittle. So I love this dream big, achieve greatness. Every day is a new opportunity. Believe in yourself, embrace the journey. And if I hit generate text again, oh, show me more. Aim high, reach success. Each day brings fresh possibilities. Trust in your abilities, enjoy the path. So I love that. I just, I love all of these, it's awesome. And then if we do the image generator, we could do, um, let's see. I'm going to do rocket ship. I know it doesn't really go with the theme of the book, but I just want to show you the tools so you can see the different tools and how they actually work. So let's give it, oh, that is amazing. So it just came up here with a rocket ship and that is truly awesome. And I love, I just, I just love the look of it. So I don't think this really fits in with this book in particular, but if I do it again, just want to see if the image is very different or if it's similar. Give it a minute to load. I could add more details. So if I wanted it to be a lot different, I could do that. And it does give me a different one. So that's amazing. I could do like, I wonder if I could do like dog riding rocket ship. I'm not sure. Let's see what the AI image generator will come up with. I'm very intrigued. Oh my goodness. This is, that's amazing. That's adorable. Let's do another one. But this is another way you can make your content really unique. Obviously, whichever platform you're on, make sure they're okay with you using AI technology. <laughs> this one is so cool. I love that so much. And the different stars and the different planets, that's amazing. So you could definitely spend a lot of time just playing around with the different AI generators and different... Um, the different tools that Kittle has to offer. And we can even make a logo. So let's do a logo for a book publishing or a book publisher. Let's try that. I'm very curious what will happen. You could obviously, like, um, what's the word, specialize this, or you could obviously, like, add more detail to your own specific book publishing name. Oh, this is awesome. Just gives you totally different ideas and things that you could do. So if I went back, I can choose a color. So I want it to be pink and style. Let's do retro. And we'll stick with logo. 
I just want to see what this will come up with. But you could probably put your business name or something like that. Oh, this is awesome. I'm just looking at the different ones. And once you click on them, you can customize them as well. So you could at least get a template that you really like. Let's do a book publisher named named um i'm just gonna do ice cream because i can't think of a name right now i just want to see if it'll include the name in the actual logo or if i have to reword it a different way publisher books for all yeah i think i'm i'm confusing let's do for a i'm just gonna type in ice cream and see what pops up i think i'm gonna try ice cream books next and see what happens but it's also relatively quick as well. Sometimes the internet that I have here isn't always the fastest. I've, I'm not sure if it's just my computer or the internet. But um, really, this isn't taking that long to load at all. So I'm pretty happy with that as well. And I there's still so many different things you can change and work with here. So yeah, you could definitely play around with this. And I, I love this one, Ice Cream Books. Like, this is such a cool logo to me. And you could definitely personalize it for yourself, but, like, that's actually your company name or your publisher name. I think that's a really cool logo. So then moving back over here, just to show the difference, we'll go to, like, Illustrations. And we have Abstract. And let's go to Shapes, and I'll just type in, like, Octagon just to see the different shapes. There we go. I mean, there's just so many different options and things to check out here. Go back to templates. You could generate a template um, with AI as well, like generate a t-shirt, sticker poster, social post, advert. Um, let's just change, let's do a social post and see what pops up here. But there's so many different tools to use for Kittle, so I do recommend checking them out if you haven't already. I will have a link in the description below in case you're interested in that. I do want to thank Kittle for sponsoring this video. I greatly appreciate it, and I'm so excited to share this with all of you in case you haven't heard of them before or if you want to check them out. There are just so many different things you can do, and I feel that this can definitely be beneficial for not only Amazon KDP, but other businesses as well. I mean, you can do t-shirts, bags... Let's see, let me get that back up here. Hats, stickers, book covers, ads, posters, flyers, banners, thumbnails for like YouTube videos, cards, label. I mean, there's just so many different things. Invitations, menus, so many different options to use with Kittle. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching and listening to this video. I hope that you have a great day.